Y'all, welcome to Blood, Sweat, and Beers. I'm here with uh, Robbie Z. And I'm here with V-Money. And we're about to uh, review a small city, Coffee Porter. Well, to have us help taste this beer and decide if we like it or not, we have our good buddy, Chris. Chris, hey. come! What the fuck? Were you, were you just sitting uh, there the whole time? Yeah, it was really uncomfortable. Were you I was like, like bending down. my legs? Yes. Okay. They look great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're building good caps just kind of hanging out at the bar. All right, but let me ask you something real quick. Sure. What, got, what got you into uh, drinking these crap brews? I had a buddy back in college, actually, and he was like, here, drink this. And he gave me an IPA, and it tastes kind of gross. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, no, it's really good, and you're just an idiot. And then it'll get you drunker faster, too, because it's more alcohol. There's stronger Hell beers. Yeah. Yeah, and even really you awesome. got into uh, brewing your own beer, right? Oh, yeah, she was telling me about this. I did. So my buddy, actually, in school, his name is Casey. He, he actually got me into brewing beer, too, because nice. he's like, you know, you, we gotta start brewing it. It'll be cheaper than buying it. So then we started just doing it in college, just kind of for fun, and then yeah. we kind of each continued uh, doing it. I, I think it. you had me try some fruity shit last time. I do some fruity stuff too because sometimes a lot of people don't like IPAs, so you have to make stuff that people like. And yeah, that you yeah, like. Yeah. Exactly, and that people can drink within the household. Yeah, I can drink that shit. I mean, I fucked it up because you gave it to me as a gift. Yeah. But I'm gonna be oh, real with yeah. you, man. Yeah. I, didn't yeah. really, yeah. I didn't really care for it, man. Oh, no, fine. No, no yeah. tea, no shade. No tea, no, no shade. No, I, hey, there's a couple of misses, you know? Absolutely. When you That's brew, and, uh, and then it sucks because you have a bunch of it, and you're like, well, I gotta finish this. Even though One of my friends from it. college, he was brewing his beer for the first time, and he was an engineer. So he rigged up this temperature control to the fridge to get the exact right thing. He comes home one day bottle caps all over the place oh, and all the shit. beer in the fridge had exploded. exploded. Nice. Some were still there and some were like super carbonated, some were super alcoholic, some were good, wow. it was all over the place. He kept doing it and I think he figured it oh, out. Oh, that's good. But yeah. it's definitely trial and error. If you put too much sugar yeah. in and you're doing a bottle, it can explode. Well, let's go on to this beer. Sure. Let's, let's crack this. We've been staring at this long enough. Yeah, so, so hey, let's, let's yeah. pop some, some bottles sweating. right now and let's pour our drink on. As is the tradition here on mm. Let's Win Beers, you gotta pour us the beer. Oh, wow, that's so, a, yeah. that's an interesting tradition. Yeah. Just laborsome for the guests. Exactly. Uh, how much How much are we, uh, do you do a full hey, box? You, so you hey, hook do me up. So I usually do a little hook down. Hook me up, I said, man. You want the full thing? Hell yeah. Okay, so I usually do a little down the sides and that's then cool, like that's cool right, right there. down. That's cool. Right Thank down you. the middle. Appreciate it. Um, Appreciate it. <laughs> Usually to avoid, uh, you know, spilling over. Yeah, that, I'm just so. gonna say this is a pretty legit pour. Yeah, I'm about to cheers, fuck this yeah, up. Cheers, fuck cheers. this shit up right yeah. here. Cheers, everybody. This is actually pretty good. I've had coffee tasting beers before that are just like, it just tastes like coffee that's carbonated. So usually what people do is they cold brew coffee, which is kind of like grounding up beans and then just putting them with water and kind of letting it sit overnight. That kind of leaves out all the bitterness and then you strain it through and then you add that to the keg afterwards. So the other way is actually take coffee beans themselves and then drop them within the finished beer as well and then take uh, those out. Okay. So it is almost like the exact same process as dry hopping. Right. Just I'm not sure how Spock City that. does it. Listen, <laughs> coffee and, and brew together, it's, it's a winner for me. So if I were to rate this brew right here, man, I give it 8.5 right here. Yeah, what, out, out, of what? out of 10, man. Out of, okay, what would you rate it? Oh man, I'd almost go slap my mother. I think I'd give this one, I'd give it a seven. Just a seven? <laughs> it's hard for me because the coffee tastes, I just can't do the coffee. The coffee's tough. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, the coffee's tough, but it wouldn't be the first that I reached to just because I can't do the coffee taste all the time. But it's a good beer. And I know it it's is. a good beer. Right. It's really good. Today we have got a very simple treat for you. It is a beer float made with Smog City's coffee porter, and just some vanilla ice cream. Take a couple of scoops. However many you want, it's totally up to you. It's one of the great things about this recipe is that it's very customizable. So I'm gonna do just two scoops for good measure. Maybe three. It's the weekend. Take your beer, pour it over your scoops. The great thing about making a beer float with a coffee porter and vanilla ice cream is that the coffee porter has that rich, coffee flavor without being overwhelmingly sweet and it pairs really really well with the nice crisp vanilla ice cream and your straw gets you know bendy which is really neither here nor there i don't even need that straw i just go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm gonna fuck that shit up well <laughs> cheers to another episode of blood sweat and beers yeah thanks absolutely. so much for joining us thank Chris. you so this much for awesome. having me um Stay drunk. Yeah. Salud.